Hi, Kathy. Good night. Hey. Hi, teacher. Ah, you look so beautiful today. I like the color of yours. Is Thank it is a blouse or is it a dress? Blouse. Blouse. Yeah, but I like it. And it combines really good with your earrings. Ah, uh, yes. That's good. That's good. Today, right now, we only have ladies. We have Gabby. Gabby, where have you been? I miss you. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. It, it's been really tough days. Yeah, I can't imagine, right? It's I'm sorry. Holidays. Yeah. But, but I've been watching the platform. Ah, that's great. You've been keeping working on that? Yeah, yeah. I almost finished. Ooh, congratulations. <laughs> Very good. I'm so happy that you have work on the platform. That's good. But it's, I also miss you. Yeah, I know I miss you too, but I've been watching the the classes as well. Okay, that's good. That's awesome if you have done that. So you will be in the same space, which is really good. That's what I like. That's what I love. This girl, this girl is really cute. <laughs> Very good. Oh, are you tired today? Yeah, you know, um, this day I've been crying. That's why I don't put my camera. I got because it. Because I, I was really afraid today. My my friend called me and, and told me, uh, you know what? I, I, I'm in front of your job. I can give you a ride. Uh, I go... Uh, I will take this Juan Pablo Street. I know it's 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 good for you. And I thought, oh, it's okay because I can walk a little bit to Metro Centro uh -huh. and then I could take the bus to my house. Mm -hmm. And so I could save one bus. Yeah, uh, and time. So okay, that's right, and all that. But then she didn't took that street, and she left me like in the in the university, in the national university. Uh -huh, yes. and, and, but I didn't know where my bus was. I mean, I didn't know if it was in the front or in the street that she left me. So I, um, watching the, the signs, um, I saw one that said, says, um, uh, Boulevard de los Aires. Yes. No, I oh, okay. That's right. That that's what that is the one that that I have you to can take. take. Uh -huh. and, and I took the wrong, and I finished in Ayuxtepeque, and I didn't know at all that it was really along the street. I I didn't know where the hell I was. Uh -huh. so I I asked to a girl who was in front in, by my side. And I told her, you know, um, if this bus goes to, to Metro Centro, and she said, no, we are about to, to, um, to arrive to Trini, says Trinity. Trini. Trini. <laughs> and she said, Trini, not Trinity. Oh, okay, got it. What is Trini? <laughs> And oh, and and what can I do to to take the right bus? And she told me, um, I will tell you where you have to 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 stop, and and you have to cross the street. Okay. And and then she she uh, stopped in the she I don't know how to say, uh, but we stopped in the same in the same stop and and she told me okay you just stay here and in in some minutes you, the bus will will pass and it already happened but i was with my heart in my hand i was <laughs> really 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 um scared scared because you know the situation and i'm really <laughs> i i don't know i was in panic uh, so I just, I just came to my home and I was really upset. You know, I was thinking why my friend did me that? If, if she didn't have to, to give me a ride, I mm -hmm. didn't ask. So I was really mad. Yeah, I, I can't am, imagine. 
<laughs> yeah, I can't imagine that, you know, I'm sorry that it had happens to you that you have passed through that situation. Yeah, it, it is really different when it's a day, right? When it's day. But when yeah. it's night, because of course you don't know the place, you want to arrive to your house as soon as possible. Of course, security reason that you said, oh my God, that had happened a lot. And that's frustrated when you don't, when you don't know the place. I understand yeah. that. Oh my God. But finally, you made it, which is really, yeah. really good. Uh, have you taken, you. have you drink a cup of tea right now? Yeah, no, I just ate some bread with, with beans. <laughs> mm. and but then I, I, what would I be can... my suggestion would be to drink a cup of tea so like the anchovy kid goes down a little bit yeah I think lot. I'll do that maybe yeah. chamomile tea will help you that's right I, I'll try and my auntie's crazy with the teas she has she has a lot of, of tea so <laughs> I could be your auntie maybe <laughs> because I'm, I'm a tea holic as well yeah I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm really sorry that it happened to you. Yeah. That that happens to me as well. But it's different. It happens to you during the day than during the night, right? Yeah. I know. Oh, God. I'm sorry <laughs> for that. Well, you have to let your friend what had happened, right? Yeah, yeah. But not right now because you don't want to talk with your friend right now, I think. <laughs> no. Not right now, right? You want to like... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> To yeah, me, I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe it wasn't intentional. No, but, I know. But wasn't. at least let you know, hey, you gotta take this place here. You see, so they give give you like a, a more guidance, right? In order for you were to take the bus that drives yeah. you to your house, right? That's cool. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. going. Hey guys, let me ask you that: Did somebody else had happened to the same situation that Gabby had passed today? Nobody. Marita or oh, Noemi, I don't know. Yes, yeah. um, sometime, um, many years ago. <laughs> and then I, I was in the in downtown in San Salvador. Okay. And I took a bus for the, um, I don't know what you say, terminal. Terminal. Mm -hmm. Terminal, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The West Terminal, and I took a, and which one? Uh, which terminal? Because there's a lot West. of terminals. So which terminal? West. I the West. Know. Okay. Okay. And I took um, the bus um, number seven C. Ah, and this one's supposed to go to Soyapango, right? Seven C, right? Yes, I. Yeah. I. Uh, you are right there. <laughs> in Soyapango, in Los Santos. Oh my God. Yeah. Ooh. It was in the, in the, during the day, okay, during the day. Oh and God. it was many years ago. No, 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 not in this time. It was. Wow. Really... But even though it was many years ago, but it was during the day, it was really still no. scary, right? Okay, and this thing, I, maybe I couldn't go out there. <laughs> okay. No, yeah, of course not, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God, well, yeah. so everybody passes this experience like it once in a lifetime. Yeah. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we'll be the first in the life and the last time, Gabby. <laughs> hey, guys, you know what? I was thinking and I was wondering at the beginning of the class, I just, I only was with Katy. Then Maria arrived, then uh, Gabby arrived, and I thought, oh, this is going to be girls night today, but no, because uh, then Noemi arrives, then uh, Mr. Luis, Mr. Francisco, then I have an Anita P Pirena, yeah, Milker, I have Ms. Anita Andrade, and finally, Mr. Byron. Yes, who is asking for some information right now regarding the, the 3.4. Right, Byron? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, hey, I like your background. Let me check. Ooh, hey, the, uh, you changed it already. Come on. <laughs> Wait. No, that's okay. I think it was the same uh, as who asked me. The Amilcar, I think, is the one who asked me for that. Ah, uh huh. Mr. Byron, one of the um, um, 
recommendation that I give you is that uh, take a minute on double checking the directions because you don't have to um, write the whole thing. You just got to write the information missing of that section yes. 3.4, guys. The one for make a request, okay? So only the, the missing part, that is one of the things. Today, we're going to talk about that, you know? <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> so today, Mr. Byron, we're going to answer your questions. Yes, please, because I, right. I, I read the, the instructions, but I think I'm confused, but I will check. You got again. confused? Okay, don't worry. That's what we are here <laughs> for. That's, okay, that's, instead of saying that's the friends are for, it is that's the teacher are for, right? So good. <laughs> hey, tell me, guys, before we start, we're already started, so we're start talking about each other's information and what had happened to you today, but somebody had a, a, a different um, weekend, but any chance, anybody had a different situation this weekend? No, nobody it counts went. if I yeah. if yeah, I Barry. spend a time a time with my crush. <laughs> Your crush? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it counts, of course. Okay. <gasps> so you spend time with, with your crush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the partner knows that he or uh, or she is your crush. Or what? Yeah. <laughs> it was a big surprise because um I who think surprised who? I both oh okay because mm -hmm. i i didn't know that i was uh, her crush as well so <gasps> really and she was so kind of indifferent i think with me so but then was like no you like me too so okay <laughs> ah no that's indifferent with you because she was trying to make it to catch your attention sir yeah <laughs> and it works <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it was a great weekend oh that's amazing a happy weekend <laughs> yeah happy weekend we don't know right guys maybe we're a crush of somebody else i don't know yeah yeah you know you don't know <laughs> yeah and it could be a, plat a platonic right or not okay <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, no, but but in that case, this is real. Okay, Byron. Okay, no worry about it. Yeah, I'm so happy. It's so real. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm so happy for you. Yeah, thank you. Well, hopefully we're just we're still alive, and you can invite us to the wedding. Doesn't matter if it's a weird virtual <laughs> wedding that we're going to be really grateful yeah. to to enjoy you and to support you in that special day. Yeah. And, the, and the teacher is thinking like far away, right? Yeah. And, and we're and just I, starting knowing yeah. each other. The teacher is like, bing, bling. All right. <laughs> that would be I awesome. You know what? I got a really close friend. I don't know how old is she exactly. I think she's 24, I think. Yeah. She's my neighbor. Actually, she lives in front of me. Well, in front of me, there's like a mini store. And she okay. lives two houses next after the store. And, um, and she's going to get engaged this December the 25th. So I'm like, yeah. But of course, it's going to be like, due to the quarantine, it's going to be like a virtual wedding, right? And I think they're going to yeah. have like a family reception just for them, which is fine. Yeah, of course, it's up to them and it's up to the budget and everything, right? But I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'm so happy. And you know what? <laughs> I'm so happy too because I have started working on a new account that is related to jewelry, guys. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, you know what, girls, we are like fancy, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that would be awesome. And I'm learning a lot of things that you cannot imagine, guys. I am so happy. Yeah, yeah so that's cool. That's you cool. know, you know Great. what? And today, guys. Well, only Byron's had a really good experience on weekend. Nobody else? No? Javier, Mirnita, Luisito, Francisco, no, nobody. Omar. Ah, oh, Omar, I'm so happy that you're here. That you made it. Yeah, because Friday <laughs> he was like, uh, I think he was on the, on the bus still. Because Friday was a really heavy traffic. Horrible traffic. Oof. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but you made it. Yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy that I can see you. I will miss you, Omar. We miss you on Friday. Yeah, I'm 
And I'm so happy Thanks. that you're okay, Amelia. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I have the most of the guys here with me. Oh, to remember that this is the last week. I'm not, I don't have to cry. I don't have to cry. Yeah, but I get so excited. Yeah. So emotional. Yeah, I'm happy about it, to be honest with you. It was, in front, it was really awful, awful traffic. Oh. Guys, do you remember what, um, how do you say when you are stuck in a traffic and doesn't matter if you're inside a bus or inside a car or you are the one who's driving? Do you, no, you remember the expression that we use when you um, cannot move back and forward? Do you remember the stand? What? Yes, that is in, in Spanish. Very good, Luisito. Traffic but how jam. do you say that in English? Traffic jam. Traffic jam is travazone, yes. But for example, when some when you call somebody or somebody calls you and say, hey, hey, where are you? And you said, eh, you cannot imagine what a traffic I am. I cannot move. How can you say it in one expression, I cannot move? How do you say that? Do you remember that we have an expression in English? It's like an idiom yeah, that we I have. I don't remember it. I just don't remember. No, I... anybody, any idea? Gabby, anybody? Omar, Mirnita, Javier, no. Ilkar, Rigo, no? Nobody? Oh my goodness. No. Okay. No. I am going to send it to you right now on the chat. Here you go. Cut in a rush. Cutting, cutting, cutting a rush. Cutting a rush. Cutting a rush. You said, hey, hey, Francisco, where are you? Sorry, baby. I don't know how you call your your, your wife. Oh, sorry, dear, or whatever. Oh, sorry, boo boo. Oh, sorry, teddy bear. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm, I think I'm going to be late today. I'm, I'm cutting a rush. Cutting a rush. Yeah, that means in, that no matter what this, you do, you cannot. In this, move. Case, in this case, it's Spotify say me. What? Spotify. In this case, Spotify saved me in uh, Karen I, and Rush course. because I, I sing in the songs uh, every Well, at least if they're in English, that's fine for me because you're practicing. Hey, I remember I'm going to send it to you today. The song mm -hmm. that we need to practice. Yeah, so Karen yeah. and Rush means that you're stuck in traffic and you cannot move. Okay. Very good. Traffic oh jam, Amilcar. Traffic jam is actually the travason itself, right? For everybody. But when you, as a driver or part of, of a vehicle, cannot move, that is when you say caught in a rush. Okay? So that is a new expression that you're learning, guys. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Excellent. Very good job. Isn't it nice? You see? Uh, you're going to learn a lot with me. Okay, so let me ask you something. Um. We're going to, uh, to do something today, which is really important, and that will help us to understand uh, the indirect questions, okay? We're going to focus on that, and um, today we're going to develop two skills. We're going to develop the listening skill, but in a different way, and we're going to develop the writing skill as well. Guys, indirect question is like, um, let me check if I can explain it better in Spanish in order for Maria to understand a little bit better. Um, for example, like, um, I told Amilcar, Amilcar, uh, do me a favor. Uh, ask Maria if she's going to come to Byron's engagement on Saturday. Right? And, uh-huh. <laughs> Byron is like, yeah, okay, but that is like your regular way. But you can, when you're using an indirect question, you can say, Could you please ask Maria if she's gonna come to Byron's party? That means uh, it's like I give it information to a third person, right? Yeah. That the other person is going to ask the, uh, to somebody that I left the message for. For example, um, um, let me check in the Spanish. How can I say that? I'm trying practicing. I'm practicing my Spanish. I promise. I practice it. You can say, um, Francisco, eh, ¿tú sabes si María va a ir a la fiesta de Biden? ¿Le podrías preguntar? Entonces, uh, Francisco dice, uh, María, 
dice la teacher o pregunta a la teacher si tú vas a poder ir a la fiesta de Byron el sábado. ¿Sí? Yo le digo, ¿le podrías preguntar? Could you ask Maria if she's going yeah. to go to the Byron's, to Byron's party on Saturday? ¿Sí me entiendes? Es como un intermediario. Yeah, it's, it's, like, yeah like if you're, for example, mm -hmm, like if you are a receptionist. Exactly. If you're a receptionist or secretary who's taking the notes from the bus, right? Remember that when you are a secretary, I think it's Rigoberto, you're in the front, is right, Rigo? Or no? I remember that, I don't know, some of you said that you, that is your job, right? Rigoberto? Is he here? I don't know. Houston, do we have a problem here? <laughs> I'm just dizzy. <laughs> All righty. So maybe you're taking a message. Remember that the secretary receives a call from a lot of people asking for her mm -hmm. boss and what she's doing, like taking notes. Yeah. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Rigo. Hello, Rigo. Good evening, teacher. Good Excuse evening. Uh -huh. where, where are you? Uh, I'm doing an exam right now. How is... You're doing an exam. Oh, no, yes. no, no, no. That's okay. Yeah, I got it. Don't worry. I'm Continue sure we... doing it. Continue. But next time, let me know. Write a message in the chat or um, private and I will know. Okay, cool. Don't worry. Take your time. Okay. We're going to learn something here today and we're going to develop our listening skills and we're going to be kind of call center agents. Okay. So I think Luisito and Byron has like, have like uh, extra points on this, but, the, but I'm going to use one of them. Okay. As an example. But first of all, guys, I'm going to do something. I'm going to play this audio all at once. All at once. And then I'm going to ask you something. Are you ready? Yeah? Are you ready yeah. for the listening part? Okay. I'm going to play the audio only once. You're going to listen a lot of people calling this pure lady and lifting messages for her boss. Okay? It's going to be different people that, that has a different relation with the boss. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now, Ms. Green. Let me check it out really quickly. And hopefully you're paying attention because it's really, really interesting, this thing. We're going to do it in a different way. Yeah, you will see that. There you go. Okay, that's what I need. Great, good. Okay, cool. There you go, that's what I need. Okay, let me share right now my screen. Let me check it out with them. Okay, guys. Now it comes. 19, exercise 9, perspectives. Could you tell Jeff? Part A. Listen to the messages Jeff's assistant received while Jeff was away at lunch today. Complete each request with ask or tell. 1. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Two. Could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? Three. Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Four. Please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. Five. Can you ask Jeff to return my call? I need to know when his report will be ready. Six. Could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? Interesting, right? Interesting. Uh-huh. Okay. Guys, um, I'm going to play the audio later on. This is just for you to, like, get to warm up a little bit. Basically, guys... Uh, when we're talking about indirect questions, there will be like um, three, no, one, two, three, four types of indirect questions. So let me share right now the screen with you because it's, this is really important that you understand before we're playing the audio one more time, we're gonna do some role plays today, okay? Are you happy? Are you happy to do the role plays? Yeah? <laughs> Yes, it's Come on, yes. Yeah, we're gonna do role plays. <laughs> You're gonna be secretaries. So don't worry about it. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. All right, so let me share right now, Ms. Green. 
Okay, there you go. Okay, focus on this because when we're talking about indirect um, questions or, or requests, we have, we can make an indirect request when we're talking about statements. A statements, guys, is another way to say sentences, right? Yeah. When we're talking about imperatives, right? When we're talking about a just now question, and of course, a doublet question. Depends on which is the, um, the direct sentence or question. Depends on that. If it's a statement, if it's an imperative, just no question or doublet question is how you're going to transform that, uh, that idea into indirect question. Okay? So that's why maybe you got confused because you don't know if it was an statement, it was an imperative and so on. So right now we're gonna learn this for uh, uh, right now. So pay attention. It's really easy. You know, don't complicate your life. But uh, but it's sometimes it's really tricky. So let me check it out. Okay, guys. Let's pretend that it's an statement. It means a regular sentence. Okay. And said so, yes, Jeff. Tony is having a party. Jeff. Um, Tony tiene una fiesta. All right. Okay. This is a regular statement. How can I transform this regular statement into Andrew way? Okay. Take a look at that. We're going to use something here that it's very important. And how can we start? Okay. Mm -hmm. Could you could you tell? And then you can say, could you tell what is the information that we need to tell? That Tony's having a party, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, this is the main information. And this we're going to keep it when we transform this information into underage weight. That's why these guys is in black color. Okay. So basically, we can say, Jeff, Tony tiene una fiesta. ¿Cómo lo transporto para underage question? ¿Le podrías decir a uh, Jeff que Tony tiene una fiesta? You see that? Le podrías decir, could you tell? Tell is, is the seer, remember? Yeah. yeah. And why is that in parentheses? Because uh, you can use uh, that or you cannot use it. Could you tell Jeff, Tony's having a party? Or you can also yeah. say, could you tell De Jeff that Tony's having a party? You can either use it or not. Is it good? It's good. Yeah. Right now, we yeah. see clear, everybody, Byron, everybody, Amilcar, Maria, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah like clear. water or like horchata? Like water. Like water. Like water, thank you so much. Huh, you like my pronunciation, right? Huh, huh. I just didn't. All right. Cool. Then let's move forward. There you go. Let me check it out. All right. Now, imperatives. Guys, just make a friendly reminder. We, what is the characteristic of an, an imperative? Who can tell me? It's obligation, the complement. Uh -huh, it's an obligation, but what is the characteristic? You don't use the, the pronoun. You don't use the subject, exactly. The subject. Okay. Remember that imperative always starts with a verb. In this case, okay. it's a negative one. Don't be late. No llegas tarde. Don't be late, right? ¿Cómo transformo eso? A decir, Francisco, no llegas tarde. Ok. Entonces yo le digo, ok, you see, mira, infinitives. En este caso vamos a usar infinitive. Tú so, so dices, can you tell Jeff not to be late? ¿Le puedes decir a Jeff que no llegue tarde? ¿Ves la diferencia? Yeah. Aquí uso el auxiliary don't, pero aquí no lo uso. Porque no es necesario. ¿Cómo vas ahorita aquí? ¿Estás bien? Who said, yeah. ah. Who said that? Hello. Don't be like, you can just let. It's good. It's good, but somebody's like, ah. Who didn't understand? Everybody understands right now? Can we move yeah. forward? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. 
What about a just no question? Remember, just no question that it is exact, exactly, if I ask the question, you can either say yes or no, right? As simple as yeah. that. Short, okay. uh, short answer. Exactly, very good. And do you remember that in present, just no question we can use either with a verb to be or either with auxiliary do, either or. Mm -hmm. So you can say Sophia. You said Sophia, comma in both examples because that is like to <laughs> help you understand that you're talking with somebody, right? Because we cannot see them physically right now. Mm -hmm. But if you were talking with somebody already, you don't have to mention the name. Okay, so you said, are you free on Friday? Do you have any number? Guys, take a look that the first two examples are like sentences. But the second, the last two examples, we are talking about questions already. So in this first one is a just no question. Okay, if it's a just no question, you can uh, make the indirect question either with if or with whether, either or. <laughs> Let's take a look at the first example. Uh, do me a favor, Francisco. Can you please read the just no question, the first sentence? The one Sophia. that is on my left. Okay, yes, very good. Sophia, are you free on Friday? Yeah, very good. You're asking if she is available on Friday, right? Okay, how can you transform this question into an indirect way? Can you please read it for me, Francisco? <laughs> Can you ask Sophia if she's free on Friday? If she's fr free on Friday, very good. Yes, exactly. Yeah, le puedes preguntar a Sofía si está libre el Friday? Yeah, si está libre, you see, if, first conditional, right? Yeah. First conditional. Okay, very good. Now, let's do something. What about the second one? Maria, can you please read it for me? The second Sofía okay. question. Sophia, do you have my number? Very good. How can you transform okay. that into under a way? Can you please continue reading? Okay. Would you ask her whether or not she has my number? Very good. So in this case, guys, thank you, Maria. If you're making a just no question transform it into under a way, just no question is a bird to be. So you're going yeah. to use it in uh, if to introduce an indirect request. And yeah. if you're using do, you're going to use whether yeah. Yeah. Yeah, to introduce indirect requests. Guys, let me ask, let me tell you something. Right now, who can tell me, besides the difference that we have mentioned right now, there is a verb that is uh, that we use in a statement and imperatives, and it's a different verb that we use in just no questions. And of course, in the list question, who can tell me that? There is one bird different. Can cacho cuál es la diferencia? Right now. Let's change it into Spanish right now, a little bit. Uh huh. Nobody? Nadie? And teacher, we can use can and cool. Yes, that is one. Very good. That's one different. What else? You don't oh, use and... number. Sophia, second example. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, yeah, it's good you're, what you're saying. But I want guys to help me. What is the difference between statement and imperatives with additional question? There's another difference. And two. Mm -hmm. You use uh, tail two. Hey, very good. Tail. That's what I need. Excellent. My kid is two. Jeff, Tony's having a party. So this is. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Le puedes decir a Jeff que Tony tiene una fiesta. Pero como aquí es una question, aquí dice, can you ask? ¿Sí? Le puedes preguntar. You see? Because we are asking a question. A las primeras dos is a statement and imperative. There are no questions. There are sentences. So we use tell in an indirect question. But if we're use where we already have is a just no question or a mm -hmm. WH question, instead of using tell, we're going to use ask. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are we good on that? Mm -hmm. yes. visto o no, lo mm -hmm. así? no, no. You see? no, no. Mm -hmm. That is another different mm -hmm. of why you ask because we're already formulating a question. So we need to ask that information, right? 
Okay, we're in the in the first two, we are transmitting the message, if we can say uh -huh. that. But in the sec in the last two, we are asking all that the question, right? Or double checking the information. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's double check about WH questions. Uh Kathy, can you please be so kind to read it for me the question? Kathy, here we go. Yes, when does the party start? Very good. When does the party start? You're asking somebody, right? Like, for example, Byron, when does the party start, right? Because we know that Byron is going to have a party on, on Saturday, right? That is hypothetically example, okay, guys? But it's true. But it, oh, I didn't know that, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, very good. So I, I got it. <laughs> That's good. So you're talking, you're asking at what time the party is going to start. Remember, guys, that this is present, right? Right now it's present tense right now. We're using the auxiliary does. So we need to put the second verb or the main verb in present tense. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In a WH question, guys, when we're asking or formulating an indirect request, introduce it by a question word. Remember what is a question word? When, why, when, who, when, etc. Okay, so you can say, word. can you ask Jeff when the party starts? Take a look at this. Besides that we're using can and could and we're using ask, of course, because we're formulating a question. Here, guys, in the WH question, we're using does, and the verb states in present. But if we, we transform yeah. it into the indirect way, we're no longer using does. So what we gotta do with the verb, in this case, is start, we need, uh, yes. we need to put it in a third party. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah? Take a look yeah. at this. We need to put it in a third person singular, right? Mm -hmm. Got that? We got that, you see? Take a look yeah. at this. You see? Yeah, That's, the first because it has exactly. an actual verb. Okay. We, in the first example, when does the party start? We already have the auxiliary does. Yeah. And the main verb is to start. But we leave it like that way because does is already letting us know that it's a third person. However, when we transform it, that information into a question or under a way, since we're no longer use does, we need to transform the main verb, in this case is a start, into a start. So it can like basically um, be logic, right? with the subject in this case is Mr. Jeff. Okay, is it good? We're good on that? It's good. Okay, yeah. take a look at the second one. Sophia, what time should I pick you up? Remember, pick, pick up is a phrasal verb. Okay, yeah. so I'm asking, could you ask Sophia what time I should pick her up? Hey, take a look at, some, at something. This is another different guys. Who can tell me what is the difference between these two sentences? Who can tell me? The first. Uh -huh. Take a look. Take, take your time. Okay. Not rush. Her. Uh -huh. Take a look. So the first I, explain, right. I, I think the, the difference is it. I add uh, the I. Are you sure you add the I? Yeah, it's, it's you're close, you're close. You're close, okay, I'm gonna put it also this one like this. You're close, you're very good, you're close. But there is the, something more. Second, you asked about the specified uh, time, no? In both of them, I'm asking this, the time, okay. in both of them. Okay. But take a look at the structure mm -hmm. of the question. Take a look at them. And that this, the subject mm -hmm. is, is 
is in the second part of the sentence of the question. It's very good. Guys, in this case, what is the subject in the question? Know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to Sophia. So the question is from what until up, right? Yeah. So in this one, in this question, where is the subject? And, and the second part. No, I mean, right now I'm in the left side. I'm in the left side. I'm, I'm in the under all WH questions. I'm Sophia. What time should I pick you up? I'm there right now. So I just, uh, basically I just circle the information that I need you to focus on. I need you to mm -hmm. think about that question. What time should I pick you up? In that question, where is the subject? Which one is the subject? Is it I or is it you? I. 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 Very good. Yeah. And take a look. I have what time should I pick you up? Because I'm talking to somebody directly, right? So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm asking directly at what time should I pick you up? In this should, remember, it's an auxiliary, right? Auxiliary. It's a yeah. Very good. Now, if I need to transform the same idea, but to indirect way, take a look what happened. Okay, in the, in the indirect way, now I'm not talking to you directly. I'm asking somebody else to ask you that information. Let's say, for example, I'm asking Maria to ask Sophia at what time I can pick her up. That's what I'm doing on the Andre question. So you said, Andre could you question. ask Sophia what time I should mm -hmm. pick her up? Should pick her up. Take a look. The first part is, should I? And in the Andre yeah. way, I should. I should. Oh, okay. See that? The, the yes. way the construction of the question is different. Yes, it's yes. different. The first one, guys, the first question is like, for example, let me go back and I want to talk. I want to see you guys. The first example is like I was, uh, I'm talking with Maria. Maria, at what time should I pick you up? I'm talking to her face to face, right? So that's yeah. what I said. At what time I should pick you up? Because I'm talking to you directly because it's the one I'm interested in to know that information. However, in the second example, I'm asking somebody else to ask that information to her because I'm not able to talk to her right now. So I'm asking, Anita, could you please ask Maria at what time I, I should pick her up? You see? Switch it. I'm asking somebody to do me a favor or yeah. request somebody, right? You see what how it works? Yeah. So depends on what is exactly you are uh, requesting for, you're going to change it in, in a different way. If you're saying a statement, if you're using an imperative, if you're using a just no question or a double question, it's gonna change. All that you got to remember one thing is that if you're using imperative and if you're using a statement, you got to use tell. Yeah. Who would you tell? Yeah. Or if you're using a just no question and a WS question is going to be ask. Okay. So that it is just little things, just little things, but depends on what you're doing or what is this information based on, it is how you're going to transfer the indirect question. Okay. I know it's like a little bit like mm, 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 I know that, but yeah. let me ask you. That is what you had to do, Mr. Byron, and for the most of the people here, and in in section three point four. Basically, you don't have to like write the whole thing again. All that you gotta do is to write the missing part. Yeah, and that will be depends on what they're asking you for. Is what you gotta do. Okay. So I fill in two mm -hmm. questions. Two questions, Adalia. Which one do you do you fail? I, one moment. I want to know moment. that. Yes, please. So I yes. can let me double check right now. Yes. Let me see if I can get into. Thank you. Search for that. No worry. We're gonna do it together mm -hmm. right now, so we can also 
work right now that are like yeah. a writing mm -hmm. activity. The number two and the number four. The number three oh, and number four for the 3.4, right? See. Sí. Okay, yeah. cool. Yep. Yeah, you can say in Spanish. Don't worry, I understand. <laughs> ah, thank you. Yay. Yeah. And you can yeah. say it in French, you can say it in German. I understand that. Don't worry about it. Oh, that. wow. Yeah, I do. At least some phrases. <laughs> All right. And that was okay. part 3.4. Okay, so let me just count yes, the minutes uh, right now. I'm I, trying to pull it up. Oh. Okay. Why? I, I already have it. <laughs> I already have it. Manera no logré nada. I, I have it because I, 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 yes, I done it. And then I helped Mr. Francisco about that in the milk or so. Yeah. I, okay, mm -hmm. let me share right now my screen. So I already have it. Like that. Yes, I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. Don't worry. Dear. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have. We can write the sentences mm -hmm. under request in order words as someone ask oi looking ask someone to deliver the message for you. Ask. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All oh, look at the parentheses. Only complete the missing words and make sure yeah, you use the correct yes, spelling. I, 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 yes, I know. Okay. So take a look at this one. Could you ask Tony? Okay, that's the only thing. Yeah. Okay, cool. What about number two? Could you ask Sophia if she's going to the party? Does that? Mm -hmm. Remember, we're going to use if, remember? If, Ooh, conditional yeah. one. Uh -huh. oh. mm -hmm. I Why is conditional? Hey, take a look at um, Dahlia and Byron and the rest of the guys. Yeah. Take a look mm -hmm. at number two. Could so you ask Sophia? 3.4. Sophia, <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. But this is the one that you're you're looking, right? And no. Dalia, it's not that one? Oh. Dalia, it's not that one. No, I I, ah. I can in 3.4. 3. 3. <laughs> Say. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going backwards. Okay, don't worry about that. I was so excited and explained to you that. <laughs> okay. West. But cool. we got it. Thank you as well for the ring experiments, actually. Uh, okay, I have it. <laughs> and I already done it. <laughs> so that's good. All righty. You know, ah, I don't just ask you to do it, guys. I also do it, okay? Huh. okay? There you go. Okay, is that good? Yeah? Yeah. Four? Okay, cool. All right, so it says, do not write the whole request, only the completion of it. Make sure you use the correct spelling completion. Okay, right? Okay. You want to use your uh, computer. So, yes. Okay. Okay. Giving me right to work. Yes. I write the same. I use your computer. Maybe the punctuation. Uh, maybe the punctuation. Maybe the No, no, no. It's a one letter. And one, one letter one, makes a difference. One. one. Yes, I know. Uh, uh, Look at the third one. Help me uh, move uh, on uh, Saturday. Uh, hey, you see, guys? Saturday. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the other one? Giving me a second, please, right? Uh, giving me uh, it's a pie. The letter A. Uh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Byron, is it okay? Yeah. You can take a screenshot if you want. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. You see, you guys? Sure. Yeah, I know. Oh, and I was writing, typing that. It's okay. The whole. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's why I said read instructions, please. Punctuation. <laughs> I know, guys. It could be that one letter. One, one letter. letter. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? One letter is, you know, somebody's like, one letter, one letter. But let me let you know why is one letter really important. For example, and the thing that I'm going to work, um, sometimes when you pay, because yeah. you can pay with anything that you can, PayPal, credit card, whatever. But sometimes if they place the order and it no went through, it's because it, we have a fraud things there, fraud, yeah. And sometimes they pay with a visa card, for example, let's say that. But the billing information that they have connected with the bank, it is not the billing information that I that they have with us, for example, right? And let's say that it could be, Dahlia, 
just one little thing like yeah. like no i can let you know for example let's billing is the one where you're receiving your your payment right your statement yeah. your bank yeah. statement. Yeah. okay so let's say that in the bank i have 83 avenue no 83 street connecticut la la la, la and i have the word street whole spell s-t-r-e-e-t -E -E right yeah. but let's say that is in the bank but let's say that with me, with the with the jewelry, instead of say is having to spell it, I have it abbreviated S T dot, and yeah. everything is the same. But but in the bank I have a spell of the word street, and in the and then in the jewelry I have abbreviated because of that Dahlia can cause yes. a delay in whole of the order. So. I know that sometimes you're like, I want to kill the platform. <laughs> you know what? The platform is designed to help you write correctly. Yes. If you make in, you in my case, missing a word, if you're missing a punctuation, or if there's uh, too many space between letters. Mm -mm. For me, the most difficult is rewriting. I know. It's really, really difficult. For me too, Francisco, like, <laughs> me too. I want to cry, is it? No, but you know I wanna what? I want to cry. At the end, you will never forget that. I know. So so now you, you already have the information. You can double check it again. with When you refresh, right? Take a stand up, a, go around, drink a cup of coffee. And when you feel like refresh, go back, sit, turn on your computer, and continue doing the exercises with a fresh mind. And you will see the next time it will be much better. Yeah. yeah. Let me ask you, did I um, answer your questions right now on the exercise? Do you have any other questions? Any other exercise that you're like <laughs> struggling with? No, you're okay? No, yet. But... No, yet. Okay, cool. Yes. Okay. And next week. <laughs> <laughs> next, next week. Okay. Okay. Now, guys, let's go back to the listening. Okay. Mm, big team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use besides Luis and Byron, who else has experience in a call center? Anita? No? Javier? Rigoberto? Gabi? No? Amilcar? Mm -hmm. No? Sorry, teacher. Uh, do you have experience in a call center? No. No. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's see. I'm going to use a big team. Sorry, a participant. <laughs> Byron. Hello. Mr. Byron, I want to see your face or your work. No, not today. I'm at home. Okay, so I want to see your beautiful face. Very good. Can you please try your headsets on? Just give me. I he's gonna remember that he's in the site. <laughs> he's a supervisor, so he's supposed to know more than the agents, right? <laughs> and Francisco like, mm -hmm. hey, thank you for the background. Uh it was I was uh, uh -huh, I know what you switched. <laughs> <laughs> So sorry. <laughs> but hurry up. Come on. It's taking forever. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to, hey guys, I want you guys to do me a favor. Even though Mr. Lazo is going to uh, do this exercise, I want you guys to please think like if you are doing it right yourself also. I want you guys to grab a piece of paper and a pen because I want you to write down each request. I think that the lady will receive, let me let you know, will receive six requests. So that means that I want you to write, write the six requests. Does it write the information that you can catch, okay? If you catch the whole information, wonderful. If you can't, don't worry, that's okay. I'm not going, I'm going to do something. First time, I'm going to stop yeah. after each request. Second time, I'm going to play it all in once. 
Okay. Ready, Mr. Lazo? You can use your notepad if you want to. You can use a word, whatever makes you feel comfortable. And let me know when you're ready, okay? Have to type all the requests. Yes, well. oh, you're going to okay. type all of them. So do me a favor. Maybe right now on the notepad or on the word, you can put from one to six, right? Yeah, I, I did it already. <laughs> uh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Mm, I apologize for that inconvenience. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so you're ready to take that uh, to write down the, the request? Yep. Yep. Okay, you ready, guys? Let me know what the rest are ready. I think you are missing Anita. I think she stood up and get a piece of paper and let, yeah. Uh, Mr. Molin, you ready? Kathy, you ready? Yeah. Anit, Maria, Javier, Gabby, everybody? Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> let the blood begin. No, I'm sorry. Let the listening start. Okay. Let's play it one more time. Page 19, exercise 9, Perspectives. Could you tell Jeff? Part A. Listen to the messages Jeff's assistant received while Jeff was away at lunch today. Complete each request with ask or tell. Okay. So, guys, I don't want anybody, I don't want to listen to anybody, only Byron. Okay. And then after that, we're going to compare each other. Okay, Byron, ready? One. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Okay, I'm gonna give you time. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready for the second one. Oh, okay. Ready? Good. Two. Could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? Ready? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Three. Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Yeah, we're good? Yep. Four. Please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. Ready? Yep. Five. Can you ask Jeff to return my call? I need to know when his report will be ready. And the last one? Yep. Six. Could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? Okay, very good. Okay, I'm going to play right now one more time, only once. So that will help everybody, Byron and the rest of you guys, to double check if you still ha if you have the information correctly or if you're missing something for each request, okay? Message all. Oh. Come Page on, 19, Exercise 9, Perspectives. Could you tell Jeff? Part A. Listen to the messages Jeff's assistant received while Jeff was away at lunch today. Complete each request with ask or tell. 1. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? 2. Could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? Three. Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Four. Please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. Five. Can you ask Jeff to return my call? I need to know when his report will be ready. Six. Could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? Okay. There you go. Do you like it? Helps you. 
helps you with the dictation, with the information. I know maybe it will be hard for somebody. Maybe you were not too hard for somebody, but it's, we're try it's, it's different, right, guys? When we're like writing, I know that. Okay, on the first one, guys, if, uh, for example, on the first one, do you use ask or tell? Tell. 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 Okay. Um, you tell, yeah. You tell. Okay, do me a favor. Who can give me that whole request? Who can read it for me? No? Byron, what you have? Me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, could you tell Jeff that time it's having a party on Friday night? Very good. Excellent. Okay, very good. What about, do you have the same guys? Uh, yeah, party, yes. yeah very today. good. Very good. If you have the same good, if you have close to that, that's good as well. That's good as well. Okay, very good. Number two. And Maria, what do you have for number two? Yeah. All the, the requests? Yes. Um, I don't have it. You don't have it. Who has it besides Byron? Who has it? Lucito, Francisco? Kathy, Anita? Could you Gabby? ask? Uh -huh. Could you ask, Francisco? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Could you ask what? Could you ask uh, Jeff if invite me for his beer date? Very good, Rico. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Excellent. There you go. Number three. Who has number three? Is it tell or ask? Tell. 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 All right. Tell. Very good. Who has a, the request, the entire request? Can you tell Jeff don't be late? Maybe Very don't good. Be. Excellent. Good job. Yes. What about number four? Is it tell or ask? Tell. 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 Okay. Who has the entire request? Who catch all the information? I apologize. I might apologize. Four. Could you re re return my return my my calls? Uh -huh, very good, kind of. Well, I need, I need, a, I need a report. Oh, oh. a report. Okay. Barbara, Mr. Molina. <laughs> Excellent, good job. All righty. Uh, what about Javi, Kathy? I don't know. Somebody has number five. Can you ask Jeff for a turn mic? Michael. Oh my goodness. Ooh. But and what her, about number six? Byron, what you have for number six? That's <laughs> right. Uh huh. Would you, would you ask uh, Jeff to come in class uh, on Friday Classes. instead of Thursday? Very good. Guys, I know this exercise it was a little bit difficult for you. Was it difficult? 50-50. Uh, 50-50, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. First of all, guys, first of all, because you have to pay attention to it was telling, tell or ask, right? That is one, was one of them. Yes. And tell second of all, because you need to catch or to write the whole request. Could you, mm -hmm. can you, I know. In this case, Mr. Byron and Amilcar and Aguilar, had a, a, we can say, develop those skills because the type of job that they have. And they need to require that. You cannot imagine, it's required a lot. However, it doesn't mean that you cannot have the same skills. Why not? Of course you can. But we have to practice more, okay? So, so but let me ask you guys, do you like this kind of exercise? Like it, yes, right? like okay, yes. so yes. now let me ask you something. I'm going to play the audio one more time. And all that I want for you is to let me know who is calling. Uh, is, is his, his girlfriend, is a friend, is the boss, is the younger sister, is the teacher, his mother. So who is calling Mr. Jeff? Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to play it one more time. So let me just a couple of minutes. Woohoo! There you go. Wait a minute. Da, 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 da. I think I'm gonna you do um there you go. Hold it. Ready? Go. Okay. There you go. Page 19, exercise nine, perspectives. Could you tell Jeff part A? 
Listen to the messages Jeff's assistant received while Jeff was away at lunch today. Complete each request with ask or tell. 1. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Who's calling? A friend? A friend? A friend? Okay. Okay. Two. Could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? Uh huh. Who thing is calling? Friend. A friend? Are you sure? In his mother? A teacher? No. Little sister? Girlfriend? Little sister, maybe. <laughs> Little sister, okay. Three. Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Uh huh. A little sister. Maybe. A little sister. So I think the previous <laughs> one was a girlfriend. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe, right? Mm -hmm. Four. Please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. Ah, no. The second one was the mom. The third one was a little sister. And this is the girlfriend, right? Because she forgot about a date. Ah, okay. Five. <laughs> Can you ask Jeff to return my call? I need to know when his report will be ready. <laughs> Who's that? The boss. The boss. The That's boss. for sure, right? That's for sure. Byron. <laughs> yes, Byron. Six. <laughs> Could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? Who's that? Teacher. Yes, teacher. My teacher. <laughs> yeah, very good. Very good, Jobs. Very good. Okay, guys, tomorrow we're going to do something else but similar in order for you to develop that dictation. Because you know what happens is that it's really um, hard to focus on staying listening and at the same time try to write. Yeah. Somebody thinks that it's easy, but it's not easy at all. All right. So we have to develop those skills as well. And now, guys, what I'm going to do, because we have to practice the writing skill as well, I'm going to do something, guys. I'm going to, I know that Dahlia is going to kill me because she doesn't like rewriting sentences, right? Yeah. But I know. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> this is going to be really nice. I promise. It's going to be only eight sentences, and all that I want, basically, you need to identify many things, guys. You need to identify is, is an imperative, if it's an statement, if it's a just no question or a WS questions, and based on that, I want you to transform them into indirect requests. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send it to you the example right now. And as a beautiful teacher that I am, gosh, okay, I'm going to send you my little square about the different kind of sentences and how can you transform them depends on what you are using. You got, let me know if you receive it, please. Did you receive it both? Yeah. Okay, so this is the first thing that we're going to double check tomorrow. Guys, you got to be happy. This is the last week. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I am. Oh. I'm sorry, but at the same time, the like, mm. hey, you know what? We're gonna play the Kahoo again. Yes. Again, you like it? You like anything? We're gonna yes. play the Kahoo. And this guy, and this time is gonna be a little bit harder. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, it will be and I'll be. I'm going, uh, let me think about it, Anita, okay? Okay, okay. maybe tomorrow we can play uh, 10 minutes before a class ends so we can refresh uh, one topic that for me is really crucial. And I will let you know in advance what it is. I want to double check about simple past with you because I have noticed some things that we need still to work on. So it's really, really important to refresh that. So remember that you gotta have two devices, right? Remember? Okay. Okay, guys, I know you're starving, you're sleeping, and the teacher speaks a little, a lot. Yeah, in Francisco, like, I still yes, I wanna <laughs> go. Okay. okay, so hats and kisses. Have a blessed night. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Happy Monday. Bye.